Hello and welcome back. We have another circle graph to do in the categorical module. So if you go to section three, displaying categorical data, and you scroll over to or turn your pages, we did a circle graph and we are up to another circle graph. It says to use the circle graph to answer the questions. Complete the table that's at the bottom if annual income is 43,800. Remember that one year is 12 months or 52 weeks. And here is the budget that we have to work with. So essentially what I'm doing, I'm taking that 43,800 and I'm dividing it into one, two, three, four, five, six categories. Food, rent, other, clothes, medical, and car. So if you have a job, you would probably want to do this. You want to take your budget, your, your income, and budget it into the areas that you need to spend. So one thing I want to call your attention to is the word annual. I want to be sure that you know that that means per year. So anytime you see annual, think of year. One year is one annum, annual. So we need to know that information in just a minute. All right, the first thing that I need to do is to figure out the dollar amounts for each of my categories. So I need to take that 43,800 and figure out what that comes up to be in terms of my categories. And I'm going to have to write very, very small here. So I'm going to zoom in so that you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. And I'm going to start with rent because that's what came up here. Okay, so let's set up our proportion, 4% or however you're doing percent. You don't have to do it this way. But 32%, that's 32 hundredths. And remember my annual income is 43,800. So this is not the nice, neat problem we saw back with the 10,000. So in, I encourage you to use your calculator here. You don't want to make errors in math. So 43,800 times 32 divided by 100 is $14,016, $14,016. For rent and remember this is for a year so this is for a year okay I multiplied the peanut and divided by the 100 okay let's scroll up here to food and I am going to get a different color um, let's see right here so percent over a hundred And remember, we're working with the yearly income, so 43.8. Draw the peanut, guys and gals, and multiply that. I'm still on cold medicine, you can tell in my drawing. Divide by 100, and that is $10,950 for food per year, okay. per annum, or annually. Okay, car expenses. So let me get a different color. Percent over 100. Getting lots of percent practice. 43,800. Draw the peanut. And multiply it. Divide by 100. And you get $3,504, $3,504 for my car per year. So oil changes, gas, tires, all of that good stuff. 
medical, doctor visits, health care, Tylenol, Band-Aids, all of that falls under medical. And let me get a color I haven't used. Okay, so we're going to do percent over 100. So 10%. You could almost do this one in your head of 43.8. You can do it in your head if you need to. So multiply those two. If you don't do math in your head very well, don't worry about it. It's okay. I don't, and I still can do math. So you don't have to do it in your head. Don't compare yourself to other people. So medical is $4,380 per year. Clothes, we're getting there, guys. I know this is a time-consuming process. Budgeting is time-consuming, but it will help you manage your money very well. If you learn how to do this and you stick to it, you can save money. And I should have made a savings category. Okay, so 43.8. Multiply those two. Remember, I'm figuring everything on my yearly income. So 5694 goes to close. If you have children, you probably spend at least that on their clothes for school and this stuff adds up. And then finally, the other category, which should include some savings. You really should budget savings specifically. That's very important. So we multiply those two. 43,800 times 12 divide 100 is 52,56 for other. So now that we've done the, the math, let's complete our chart. So other, I'm going to go ahead since I have the orange and fill this in. Other was 52.56 per year. Um, what is that? Rent was 14.016. So all I'm doing is filling in my numbers into my chart. Close fifty six ninety four. Medical forty three eighty. Car was thirty five oh four. Food was one fourth or ten nine fifty. And that should be all, yes. Now think with me just a minute. Before I go ahead and do all this other math, would it make sense to add this column? Let's go ahead and add our yearly column on the calculator. 14016 plus 3504 plus 4380 plus 5694 plus 10950 plus 5256 equals 43,800. And remember, that is what I had to start with. So this category should add up to that total amount. Okay, to get your monthly amount, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to take the 14016 and divide that by how many months are in a year. 12. So 14016 divided by 12 is 1168. So I am paying 
$1,200.68 per year, I'm sorry, per month for rent. Let's go ahead and get yearly, uh, I'm sorry, weekly while I'm here. There are 52 weeks in a year. So we're going to divide 14.016 by 52. This one's a little bit more of a problem because it's not going to be nice and even, and that's okay. We're going to say about $270 a week. So some people like to break down their budget to the month and to the week. Um, and I'm just showing you how to do that if you so choose. Okay, for the car, we have this much per year. So let's get the months. So 3504 divided by 12 is $292 a month that I allow for my car. That would be gas and insurance and oil change and all that stuff. And then divide by 52 weeks and you will get a weekly amount if you want to budget by the week. It is about $67. The three is not enough to round up, so let's call it about 67. This is good rounding review. Okay, for medical expenses, I have this much per year. So let's break that into months. And then let's do it again into 52 weeks. I budget for a month. I don't try to do a week. So 43.80 divided by 12 is $365 a month. That could be health insurance or other medical expenses. Doctor copays. And then if you do it for the week, we're allowing about $84 a week for health issues. Okay, clothing. We've got this chunk for one year. So how much can I spend a month on clothes? 56.94 divided by 12 is $474.50 per month. Or if you break that on down into weeks, divide it by 52. So 56.94 divide 52 is $109.50. So if you like to shop for clothes, that's a pretty big budget that you can spend for a week. Or you could save up and go on the tax-free weekends and plan your expenditures accordingly. The grocery bill. If I have this month much per year, how much can I spend per month on groceries? $900.50. Or this one you might want to break down to a week because this is something that you have to replenish quite often. So 10,950 divided by 52 is about $211 per week. So quite a bit. We don't spend anywhere near that on groceries, but I don't have children in my household, so... Okay, the last item here is other. So I take that 5256 and I divide that by 12. And this would be savings, it would be movie tickets, school fees, whatever other you can think of. And then if you look at that per year, maybe school lunches, or you might budget that with food. That would be up to you. By 52, I need to change that. 
I was doing the same thing again. Uh, about a hundred one dollars per week and this would add up pretty fast guys um, if you think about all the other expenditures that pop up during the week that you really aren't anticipating but they crop up always so this is how you take a circle graph and make a budget it's not an easy process, but it is a very good process to know and to teach your children. Teach them how to budget their money. Even if they just have $100 a month to budget, teach them how to break it down and spend it appropriately. And you will be giving them a skill that will last a lifetime. Remember one thing, the whole circle is 100%. That is all of your income that you have to spend. So you're just breaking up that circle into different slices of pie for different needs that you and your family have. Okay, I'm going to stop this video. And in the next video, we will begin module four. So we are finished with categorical data. And I will see you soon.